Hi, this is Dr. Zananti from Zananti Surgical Design Group. Here we're demonstrating the hyphricator cart and setup for dermatologic procedures. The hyphricator cart includes a unique stand that the hyphricator is mounted to using the posterior screws that fit into slotted holes and easily threads together. The reusable handpiece for the hyphricator is plugged in into two positions as shown here. An optional patient pad can be used with the hyphricator to avoid electricity transfer or shock to the bridge of the nose or brow when using the colposcope. The system is used with a solid return pad instead of a split pad that is commonly used with a higher power electrosurgical unit. The cart is on casters to make it easily positionable and rotatable. Here, the smoke evac tubing kit is hooked up to the smoke evacuator that is mounted on the lower shelf of the hyphricator cart. The smoke evacuation derm adapter kit is packaged sterile for procedures such as Mohs that require a sterile field. The sterile pouch can be opened, exposing the tubing connector and the reusable hyphricator handpiece is passed into the sterile sleeve around the tubing kit up to the connection with the distal end of the adapter. The eight foot suction tubing is then connected to the exposed barb connector or proximal end of the adapter. The sterile pouch is then removed and the sleeve can be extended to cover the entire handpiece, six to eight inches of the cord and the tubing connection. Both sharp and blunt derm tips are available in sterile or non-sterile versions. Here, the sterile versions are peeled directly onto the sterile field and simply placed into the distal portion of the handpiece through the sterile tubing adapter. A non-sterile version of the Hyphricator Smoke Evac tubing adapter can be used with a sterile sleeve that can be extended over the entire length of the tubing and cord to provide an extended sterile barrier.